Stack Up Introduction. Learn the basics and prepare 3D models for use. To introduce you to Stack Up, we'll use basic building block models, which we've made available to download from your user dashboard slash extra files page. It's really important to follow the folder structure as Stack Up won't work if it can't find these named subfolders. If I open Stack Up, you will also find instructions in the top drop down menu. You can see we have three model options in each folder and their corresponding bitmap in the texture folder. If I load a ground floor block from the bottom folder, and use the Ignite Springboard Measure tool to display the dimensions. Record the dimensions to apply to other models as all levels need to share the same width and height to allow it to stack. The depth of the models is not taken into account. If I check the other levels, you will see all the blocks are the same. This uses the parameter bounding box size, so your models could be any size within this box as long as the parameter box remains the same for stacking. Opening a roof model, you can see the roofs extend beyond the lower level's box size. Stack up allows the roof to be any height. This also applies to bottom level basements. Now, if I quickly set up a stack up by dragging out a rectangle spline, then pick the spline and pick the folder blocks. If the folder is the correct structure, stack up is ready to go. First, I input how many levels I want, then input the width and height, and select center as the layout option along the spline. Click Generate and Stack Up will build a model. You can see the color-coded materials on each level and how Stack Up has randomly built the stacks. Next, if I delete these and build another Stack Up, this time increasing the number of levels. Click Generate. The new model builds with more levels and variation. Again, I'll delete this model and change the parameters, this time adjusting the random level's minimum and maximum numbers. Click Generate to view results. I'll delete this and jump back into Stack Up to show you the random scale range. By adding a little variation, each stacked model along the path is slightly different. Click Generate. You can see the stacks have become more random, noticeable in their height. Delete this stack and for our final test, let's go to the extreme in level height. Change the number of levels to 99 and set the min and max numbers. Click Generate to view the results. Have a play with the downloaded blocks, or if ready, please continue with the stack up making a street exercise.